video, we're going to talk about breaking news. The new interface is coming to the 4K sticks and the Fire Cube this month. They just made the big announcement, so I want to do a quick video. Today, we're going to talk about when it's coming, what to expect with the new interface. It looks completely different. We're going to do all that right now. All right, so what is all this talk about the new interface? If you have a new Fire Stick, one of those 2020 models, either the Fire Stick Lite or the third generation of the regular 1080p Fire Stick, then you already have the new interface. But if you have a 4K stick at the time of this video or a 4K Fire Cube, you have the older interface. So why in the world did Amazon feel the need to completely revamp the look of their fire stick. Are they trying to hide stuff? Are they trying to do more stuff? Are they trying to be more intrusive? No, all they're doing is they're trying to compete with the Google certified boxes out there, which have a much better streamlined appearance. Plus, if they made a few tweaks here and there, they make it a little bit easier for you to learn how to use it and enable a lot more of those Alexa functions because the fire stick is coming out with a brand new fire stick that's going to have more and more Alexa voice controlled functions that they don't have already. So they had to first do the interface, literally spread it out to all of their Fire devices, and then they're gonna come out with a new one with a great new remote, which is coming very soon. So stay tuned, I'll have a video on that very soon as well. But what do you expect with the interface and when is it coming? Well, I'll start with when it's coming. It's coming this month. They've announced it, it's coming this month. When, I don't know the exact day, but it should happen within the next couple of weeks. So you'll have to check your updates. To do updates on your, the older version, you just go up to settings all the way to the right, click about, and you can check for updates. Make sure when you're checking for updates on your Fire Stick, that your Fire Stick is plugged to a power outlet. And I repeat, this is very important, plugged into a power outlet, not to the power of your T. V. So you've got the HDMI that goes into your TV, and then there's a cord that goes out to the power outlet. You can power it with your TV, but not when you're doing an update. So take it out of your TV, plug it into a wall outlet. So now you have it into your TV and a wall outlet, which is how most people do it anyway. Some people don't because they don't want the cords dangling behind their TV, but for the update, do that. Plug it into a power outlet, check for updates, go ahead and do the update, and you're gonna have the new one probably within the next couple weeks maybe even sooner, it could happen tomorrow. They didn't give an exact date, but it is coming and very, very soon. What to expect? Well, it's actually exactly the same as the old one. There's nothing new about it other than the where they put everything. So you just kind of have to learn where you put things. And once the new interface is on all the 4Ks, I'll do another video, I'll do a full tutorial. I'll share with you how to unlock it, how to add third-party apps, do all those things. I'll do that on another video once they've added it to all of those 4K devices. But basically, you're gonna use a couple sections here. The find, where you're gonna be able to do the search function that we talk about in our other videos. The little magnifying glass in the corner is now find. Another thing is to get into settings. Now you don't have to go up and all the way over and down. You just click this little gear icon right there and it pops it up right there and you can get to the My Fire TV and you can unlock your Fire Stick right there. It's so much easier and there's not a lot of fluff. Plus you can do a few settings here and there to keep the ads from playing at the top, which is really, really nice. You can do it with the old one too. It's just easier with the new interface. So it's coming, it's coming this month. Just a quick video to share this with you. And if you do me a huge favor, if you hit that like button right down below, it's just a little up thumb. If you click that right there and comment something about this video, maybe you're looking forward to the interface, maybe you're nervous about the interface, if you have questions about the new interface, anything like that, comment down below, be entered into a drawing because I'm gonna give away a brand new 4K Fire Stick from this video once it gets a thousand likes. So if everybody hits that thumbs up and you tell your friends to hit that thumbs up and you share it on, on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you share things so that we can get a thousand likes, the sooner we do that, the sooner I do a drawing for a 4K Fire Stick. And I want to do this for you guys. If I can do it this month, that would be fantastic on this video here. The new interface, it's coming to all devices. You can't run from it. You're going to need it. The new apps are only going to work with it eventually. So you definitely Definitely want to update it when you can and I've tested it on another fire stick and it runs really really good so there's no problems with it and you can do all the same stuff with it it just seems to even run a little bit smoother and faster and easier to learn you won't even need me soon it's so easy to use thanks again everybody for watching my videos don't forget to hit the thumbs up comment down below we'll do that drawing thank you guys bye 
I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 